All right, we got another pen video here. This one's gonna go up for sale for $110. Right now I'm just flattening out the surface and putting a divot in the end so I can drill a, a straight hole all the way through this blank. I lost a really nice drill bit that I had for this and I'm using my old one here. It's quite dull. You'll see it'll bring up a lot of smoke when I'm drilling here. Right about now. Kind of a cool shot. But I'll speed through the rest of it. There's a couple ways you can drill these holes in these blanks. I'm using a Jacob's truck chuck on the end of my uh, tailstock here and I like it that way because it's really easy to mount the piece and get your hole right on center. But you can use a drill press or if you're good enough you can use a regular hand drill. But this definitely works the best for me. Here we're going to scuff up the tubes here just so that they adhere to the insides of the blanks as best they can. I think that's 120 grit sandpaper right there. I find that works the best. It makes nice deep marks into the tubes. I'll speed through the rest. And you can use epoxy, but I like to use super glue just because super glue dries faster and it, I find it just spreads a little bit easier on the insides of the tubes. Or the blanks, I mean. And you need to go slow when you need to twist it in there. Otherwise you'll get glue everywhere. Some people plug the ends of the, the tubes just so that no glue gets down the center. Because it can cause headaches later on. I'm just checking here to make sure that I got glue on all throughout the inside of that blank. So here... I'm using a trimming bit and I'm going to trim the ends of our blanks um, in line with the, the brass tubes. And you do that because if you don't, um, you mount it on the mandrel on the lathe. And after you're done uh, turning your pen and you, and you press it together, it can be crooked because you're not perfectly in line with the brass tube. And that can be a big problem. So here we're just going to mount all our pieces onto the lathe. And I like to keep it all uniform just so that I'm, I don't screw up as I'm shaping how I want my pen to be. You can see my marks right there. So now is the best part where you get to shape your pen. I like to use, uh, carbide bit tools. I just find they're they're really easy for small projects. If I was turning a bowl or something bigger, like a vase or, or a platter or something, I would use traditional wood turning tools. But for a small project like this, and especially with an acrylic blank, um, using carbide tools is just, it's just easier. But now I'll let you guys watch this.
and that's about the shape I want. And now we're going to sand from 120 to 400 to start off with. I like to use a fresh piece of sandpaper every time I uh, switch grits. Especially on the, uh, the acrylic, it can get all gummed up in your, uh, in your sandpaper. But this is the 400 grit. I just skipped through most of the sanding because it's not that fun to watch. And after that, I just use a super glue finish. This is just regular thin super glue. I find it works very well. It's easy to spread and it's uh, one of the most durable finishes you can put on a pen. Looking pretty good. So after it's dried I, and put a few coats on, I, I use steel wool to, to deburr anything that has kind of floated on to the pen since I've been working on it. And, uh, and then I use polishing pads. And these polishing pads go from 1200 grit to uh, I think 12,000 grit. And it gets it very, very smooth. So the brown one's the, uh, the 1200. And the pink one here, I've worked my way up, and this is the uh, 12,000 one. And after that, you can call this finished if you want, but I like to put a uh, an actual polish on it. And the one I like to use is the, the hut polish, and that's just because it was the only thing at the store that they had. They had no specialty polishes or anything, but it works very well. And you simply just rub it on. I like to rub it on by hand without the, the machine on first, just so it has a chance to kind of dry and soak in to what, what it's polishing. So now I'm just spreading the polish around while the machine is on, get it nice and rubbed in. And then you rub it off with, the, uh, with some more paper towel, just get all the polish off, all the excess. And that's what it looks like with the polish off. And the last step is just a high speed buffing. So you just crank the speed on your lathe and then with a dry piece of paper towel, you just, just rub it along the finished pen, making sure that there's no residue coming off the pen. And it'll give it a very glass-like finish. This pen's turning out very well. After that, it's just assembly time. And with a two-piece pen like this one with a lid, um, you have to be very careful on how things line up with your lid. Like you have to make sure that um, if you want your pattern to line up with the lid on or off, in this video, I'm going to have it uh, lining up while the cap is on, so the pen's put away. And here, I'm just putting the spring in the end. Then I'm pressing it into the body of the pen here. I just use a regular clamp. Um, the, the pen assembling tool that you can buy from any wood turning place. It's, it's a little pricey, so this works just as good. And this is the end of the, the lid of the pen. So this is an important part to line up properly. So how I do it is I just screw it on to the body of the pen till it's where I want it. And then I take my lid and I assemble my lid. There's a chip here on the very end. I was lucky that it was right here because now I can cover it with the uh, with the tang that holds it in your pocket, the clip, I guess. And this is a really easy part. You just press it together. It, it's super easy. You just make sure when you press it together, you're covering your little mistake there. Super simple fix. Now the hard part, this is lining up your pattern.
off camera I actually pressed it a little bit too far into the pen and I had to pull it apart again. Uh, luckily I didn't push it in all the way. But you can see I'm just aligning it here and then I just press the pen together while the pen is assembled. And it looks like the pattern's lining up pretty good. And this is a rollerball pen. It, it tends to leak when you take the cap off uh, for the first little bit, just because the, the ink is so liquidy. I had a little bit of trouble here getting ink all over myself. But you just keep wiping, wiping the ink away, and eventually it'll stop running out so fast, and then it'll stop until you're actually writing something. And here, the thread on the pen kit actually has two thread tracks. So if you twist the pen together and it goes on the wrong track, the pattern doesn't line up. But if you get the right one, it lines up perfectly, just like this. And there's your finished pen. If you like the video, please subscribe. Other than that, thanks for watching.